Welcome back to part two of the flashing emu flight videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to flash a non IMUF baseboard. So, non Helio, non Strix, non Flux baseboard. These are going to be your straight F4 and F7 processors. You might have an F4 uh, Tiny Whoop you want to try this on. You might have uh, a Mamba or a Pyro Joan uh, FC you want to try this on. So this video is going to run through that really quickly. If you care what I have to say about Helio, that's in the first video. Or if you want to hear me talk about Emu Flight in the other intro, go ahead and watch it. Otherwise, check this out. This is for you uh, F4 and F7 guys. So we're going to plug in an Omnibus. And as you can imagine, this is not going to be supported. I don't think it will accept a, this is old butter firmware. I'm not sure it will accept a bootloader command. So we'll try it anyways, BL. We'll see if it boots. I don't think it's going to. Okay, unplug it. We're gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna skip this, but I'm effectively going to use the impulse driver. Fixer once again. Okay, so you should have a DFU mode here as per normal, and you're just going to go to update firmware. Now, uh, I'm flashing an omnibus. Uh, if you're not sure your target, before you uh, begin this process, you should plug it in and go to CLI and type dump. Uh, that will tell you a target name, and that will be what you want to pick when you come to EMU. So here we go. We have the uh, an Omnibus F7. It's OG, old school F7 that I've had for a couple years, and uh, I had Butterflight on it. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to EMU Flight. Uh, same process. You just go ahead and pick your target. You're going to come down here to load online and flash. There we go. Okay, so that's done. It's going to reboot. And as per normal, you're going to get your COM ports back up here. So anyways, guys, uh, just in case you're wondering, there are a ton of targets already available, and the devs are adding targets every, all the time. So if you don't see it, ask uh, in, the, in the EMU uh, Facebook group or the Discord. And uh, if we can make it happen, we'll definitely get it in here. So we've got, uh, you know, your Acons, Aerobots, you got some Alien Whoop targets, you got some B Rotors, some Beta Flights, CL Racing, those are popular. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Pyro Drone F4 is in here. Let's see here. Da -da -da. All your Matex, your Mambas, a couple of your Mambas are in here. Uh, all of your omnibuses, Revolt, Revolt OSD, and your Strix F10, and don't forget your Mode 2 Flux, which is also a Helio board, but these are tons of F4 and F7 targets for you guys to try out. So again, if you don't see your target currently, chime in, ask, and I'm sure we can uh, get one whipped up as soon as possible. We're constantly adding them. So once you have your board set up, again, you're going to have... Um, Checking my accelerometer. Yep, so that's all good. I'm gonna calibrate it. Set that up. So again, you have your traditional setup here, guys. You've got configuration tab. You can go ahead and set your frequencies. On F4 and F7 boards, you're potentially only gonna get 8K support, although some of the F7s may go higher. Realistically, guys, though, 4K, 8K, it's fine. Um, shut off features you don't need, you know, set your max arming angle, same old stuff. Um, this is a D quad. I'm gonna call this the mad, the mad D quad. And you know, you're gonna want to set your, uh, set your protocol there, set yourself up. And we're just going to jump back in here. And so, again, guys, as you come into your PID tuning, you're going to see your feathered PIDs. This is a non-helio board, but you're going to have your feathered PIDs. You're going to have your EMU boost. You're going to have your throttle boost, your IDK, just like you would on any other uh, helio board. It's very cool. But then the magic. Now you have uh, an IMUF over here. 
you have the IMUF on your F7 or your F4. You have your traditional uh, beta flight and butterfly filtering, but then the magic filter down here, same thing. You're gonna set your W32, 16 to 32 for a five inch, 64 to 128 for a seven, seven up on 128. And as you move into your, uh, you know, nine tens, eight, nine tens and X's, you're going to go up to like 240 to 300 as we go. So that's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing radical here. I mean, this is very straightforward. It's just like setting up any other flight controller. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the Facebook group or in the or join the discord. The guys are great nothing but good vibes and we definitely want to make this the best we can so check it out let us know what you think and drop a comment or a like if you uh if you dig the video and uh send it hope to see you out there